how to make natural gas out of food waste what I built here guys is basically pretty much all recycled materials except for this ball valve here and this tube this inner tube here um, basically the way it works guys is very simple very very simple third world countries use this a lot in North America we really don't even know about this too much but what this is guys it's a bio digester so basically you take all your your scrap food waste um, it could be meat, it could be vegetables, it can be everything except for bones and eggshells, stuff like that that cannot be broken down. <clears throat> you basically throw all the food waste down here, you try to get it as um, small as possible. So if you have a big piece of meat, try to chop it up so it's really small. Um, you feed it in through here, it goes into this tank here, which is mostly filled with water, which is a closed chamber. And basically it ferments in here and as it ferments it releases um, methane methane is another form of met, um, natural gas guys um, once the pressure starts to build up in here it'll start showing on my gauge here how much pressure we got so right now we've got a, maybe about four or five psi of methane natural gas stored in here then I put it into this inner tube here that can be portable to carry anywhere you want to take it. And as you guys can see, it's pretty full already. Um, so I'm going to go and basically every day I release the pressure into this tube. And this tube stores the natural ga gas for a later period that I can hook up to a natural gas stove and cook with. Okay? So basically what I got here is a stable valve to stop the pressure from leaving the tank where everything is being fermented through this tube and it goes into this little doodad right here it goes into the valve stem of this inner tube so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna see if maybe you guys can um, hear the gas going into the tube I can hear it So we are now filling, I just turned it on, we are now filling the inner tube with uh, flammable gas. So food waste to flammable gas that can be used for cooking. Anybody can do this guys. Majority, 60% or 70% of water in here, the rest is food waste. And every day you feed it a little bit from whatever scraps you have. And um, very simple, so right now, yeah, our pressure is going down because we're filling this inner tube even more and this inner tube is getting really tight now really tight so the idea here guys is to fill your inner tube up as much as you can to expand it because as it expands it creates pressure and so that way when you get ready to hook up a tube to your natural gas stove or portable stove it'll have that pressure pushing back on itself to push the gas out of the line so ideally you want to you know expand this tube as big as you can get it very simple and you can purge purge it once or twice a day depending on how much pressure you have in there the more food you, you put in there the more more to break down and create methane gas so I haven't put any food in this digester for probably about four days and it is still producing gas every single day Oh yeah, she's nice and tight, guys. Nice and tight. Okay, so we have purged everything. We're gonna go ahead and shut the valve off. There's only maybe one or two PSI in here. That's okay. Then we'll come over here and we'll disconnect our line going to the valve stem for the inner tube. Roll that back up. And now you've got a tube full of natural gas or methane. And look at this thing, guys. This thing is tight. So this is my gas tank now. Pretty cool, I must say. Anyway, guys, hope you guys like this video. Thanks.